Um, tonight's class is inspired by just like emotions in your body manifesting in physical ways. So finding releases for maybe things that are getting cut subcon caught subconsciously or unconsciously and allowing them to release out of your body in a physical manifestation of it. Um, I think that'll make a little bit more sense once we move through class. We're actually going to start on our feet tonight, which is different for Vino and Vinyasa because I feel like sometimes sculpt we start on our feet, but not really on Fridays. Um, I have a glass of wine here, so cheers for whatever you have with you. Fun fact, this is a wine glass from my 21st belated birthday, all of you were there, um, that we did on, my sister surprised me and we all went on Black Friday to Saddle Rock in Malibu. Um, and so that was fun because it was like a belated 21st birthday. So that's what that wine glass is from. Um, get on your mat, <laughs> find your playlist, pull it up. You, oh, the other fun thing that I was thinking of is I, have taught in these pants like three times in the studio and every time I wear them to teach, I always tell myself I'm not gonna wear them ever again. And here I am and I literally have that thought, but I'm still wearing them. Um, so flare pants for the win. Stand on your mat, maybe grab some water, wine, whatever you have, and then you can press play in four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, press play on Love Dub, close your eyes. Let your hands be heavy by your sides. And then just start to take notice of your body. Exactly as it's arriving on your mat. Maybe a soft bend in your knees feels good. Maybe your feet go a little bit wider or a little bit more narrow, depending on what is most natural in your body. Yeah. Once you have this stance, Take an internal scan. Start from the ground up. How are your feet feeling? Bring it up to your kneecaps and your quads. How are those feeling? Maybe into your hips, noticing if there's tension or heaviness there. Into your stomach and belly space, just noticing how your body's feeling, how you're showing up tonight. Bringing awareness and notice to your chest and heart, into your shoulders, and then doing a facial scan all the way to the crown of your head. If anything calls out to you, great, acknowledge it. And if everything's just kind of mushy right now, that's okay too. Take a breath in. And then take a big breath out. One more just like that, full inhale. Empty, empty exhale. Awesome. Twinkle your fingers a little bit. We have a tendency to kind of crunch them up or get really tight in them. So loosen them up, twinkle them out. Yeah. And start to roll your shoulders a few times up and back. Maybe your eyes stay closed. Maybe your knees take a more generous bend in them if they feel tight. But see what's happening in your shoulders, in your upper half. As you start to roll them open, maybe you wanna make your movement a little bit bigger and maybe it starts to open and close out your chest too, right? Keep breathing as your shoulders get closer to your ears and then exhaling as they roll down. And if there are other things that you wanna do right here with your arms, go ahead. If there are bigger bends or movements in your knees that you want to take, that's perfect. Do that too. Noticing where your breath is allowing more space to show up for four. Three, it can get as big as it needs to right away for two. And one, let your arms lay long by your sides, breathe in. And then big, big empty breath out. <sighs> nice. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky for a mountain pose. Maybe your stance gets narrower. Drop your shoulders, really reach towards the ceiling. 
and then tuck your tailbone underneath so you're avoiding any arch in your back. Take a big breath in. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Left arm goes in front of you, right arm behind you. Maybe it's a cactus of your arms to get a little bit deeper on your twist. Your spine's still pretty new to movement right now, so it's okay if you don't twist as deep. Inhale, swoop all the way up. Exhale, open to the left. So right arm in front of you, left arm behind you this time. Twisting open to the left side of your mat. Gaze can go to the left side or even behind you if you want. Nice, inhale, arms come back up to the sky. Exhale, baby back bend or maybe even bigger. Your elbows can really drop open, heart rises. Nice, sweep them up, inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold, just melt down. Feet here can go a little bit wider so that you almost come to a ragdoll pose, just hang heavy at the bottom. Sway everything out. Head can shake, yes. Head can shake, no. You can bend and straighten through your knees. You can move into your hips. Give yourself about four more cycles of breath here. Full complete allowing your physical movement to start to warm up. Two more cycles. And last one, if your palms reach the ground, plant them down, pinky toe your feet to touch. Yeah, and then slowly one vertebrae at a time, roll all the way up to standing. Let it be really fluid like water, allowing your head and neck to be the last to rise. Breathe in as you get there, sweep your arms up to the sky. And then flip your palms outward, swan dive down really slow, just as slow as you rose up. Take your body in half. Nice, we'll try that a few more times. Inhale, roll up one vertebra at a time. Head and neck last to rise, arms sweep, breathe in. And then flip your palms, swan dive slowly, articulate everything down to the mat. Nice, inhale, roll up. Sweep your arms for mountain. Exhale, swan dive. Two more, just like that. Inhale, roll. Mountain. Flip them out. Dive down. Nice. Take your very last one. Roll all the way up. Sweep your arms high. Mountain pose. Breathe in. Pause. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Nice. Inhale, sweep them high. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Big back bend, let it melt. Inhale, high. Exhale, swan dive down or get to your mat, however you want. Halfway lift, breathe in. And then plant your palms, step back, high plank. Come to the top of a push up. Stack your joints. Maybe rock forward and back just a few times. Really press down into your palms, breathe in. And then exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Nice, uncurl the tops of your toes, press down through the tops of your feet, light in your palms, breathe all of your air out at the bottom. Inhale, baby cobra, lift. Exhale, tap your forehead. And then shift your hips back, child's pose. Balasana. Glutes sit heavy on your heels, arms reach forward. Forehead is down to the mat, breathe in. And then big, big breath out, empty, empty, empty. Beautiful, one more just like that, full inhale. Full exhale, let it go. Shift forward, tabletop, stack your joints. Take a few rounds of tabletop movement. So maybe those are cat-cow. Maybe it's just wiggling through your hip space. Maybe it's some C-curves through your spine. Maybe it's some flips of your wrists, right? You got about four counts here to do whatever you want. Nice, last three, last two, 
and one. Come to a neutral tabletop. Find a nice flat back. Reach your right palm in front of you, left leg behind you for bird dog. Take a moment right in the middle to engage your core and to find flatness through your back. So if I had like a glass of water, a glass of wine, I would be able to balance it on the small of your back. Breathe in, find a lot of length. Exhale, tap opposite knee to opposite elbow, get small. Nice, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap, two more. Breathe in, get long. Breathe out, get small. Last one, inhale. Exhale, tight. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap it all back down to your mat. Switch it out. This time, left arm in front, right foot behind you. Reach forward and reach back with equal magnitude. Breathe in, get long. Exhale, get small, tap. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, breathe in. And then breathe out. Last one, breathe in. Exhale, tap it in. Awesome, inhale, lengthen, last bit. Exhale, tabletop. One round cat cow, drop your belly, lift your heart, inhale. Exhale, round your spine. Flat tabletop. Now this time, bring your right foot in front of you so you can start it behind you to get a little bit more leverage. And then you're gonna find yourself in this crescent moon shape from tabletop. So right foot's in front, left knee and shin are down on your mat, arms ahead, arms above your head, there we go. And you can just warm it up here so palms can come to your thigh if you wanna get a little bit deeper through your left hip. Maybe some side bending action feels good here. That also kind of plays on your balance. Nice. Inhale, come back to crescent move. Curl your back toes, exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arm. So arms go straight behind you. Right foot is still your base. Body weight shifts forward about 45 degrees. See if you can really engage your thighs to tighten everything up through center and to find a smaller focal point. Nice, inhale for chair pose. Bring your left foot to meet your right, then both of your knees sweep your arms in front of you. Sit back further into your chair. Inner thighs touch if you can, and then feel like they're pressing into each other, but also ripping away. So you have same, again, that equal but opposing energy, that really strong magnitude. Breathe in, get a little bit lower. Exhale, forward fold, melt it down. Halfway lift is your inhale. And then exhale, high plank, back to the top of a push-up. Shift forward, lower all the way down on your belly. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, tap it down. Shift your hips back, child's pose. Find a little bit of softness here. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more, just like that. Full inhale. And then empty, empty exhale. Awesome, shift forward, tabletop. We're gonna run through that whole thing, but on the left side. So reach your left leg back to start, and then send it right in front of you for crescent moon. Arms go up to the sky, left leg is in front this time. And same thing, you can take any, ooh, like shapes that you want here. You can bend and straighten that leg. You can take side bending actions if that feels good. But give yourself a little bit here to really warm up through your hip flexor to start to feel this strong stance, but really close to your mat for the beginning. Maybe you even want to take a back bend. Nice. Inhale, come back to crescent moon, arms straight above, curl your back toes. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. Body weight goes forward again, about 45 degrees, really grounding down through that left foot, finding a little bit of stillness right here. So even though nothing in your body is moving externally, there's so much happening internally. Everything's constantly flowing. It's constantly finding a new path. So there's this dichotomy, right? This external versus internal. Inhale, chair pose. Bring your right foot to meet your left. Sweep your arms ahead. Bump your glutes back. 
See if your inner thighs can connect a little bit closer. Maybe your legs even start to shake and see if you can sit down a little bit further back. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. And then this time, take it through a full Chaturanga Dandasana. Make your way to down dog. Inhale, upward facing dog. Or you can always take Cobra too. Exhale, downward facing dog. Your first little class, bend into your knees. Press down into your palms. Allow your hips to get really high to the sky. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Nice, one more just like that. Full inhale. Full exhale. Let's flow through that. Reach your right foot high. Start with square hips and then scorpion it out. You can start to take big hip circles. If you want to flip your dog right away, you totally can. Or if you want to stay with the hip circles, awesome. Nice. Wherever you're at, bring it back to three-legged down dog. Right leg high. Breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your bottom knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Arms high. Curl your back toes. Exhale, crescent lunge. Airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga Dandasana as you exhale and rinse it out. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. One breath in, one breath out. Left heel rises. And then scorpion your dog once you really press down through your palms. You can start to take big hip circles. Or you can flip dog, whatever you want. Inhale, reach your left heel back up to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your bottom knee. Crescent moon, rise tall. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. Inhale, chair, bring them together. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway left, breath in. Breath in. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, one solid strong inhale. One empty, empty exhale. Start to notice if things are waking up in your body. If there are small little pockets of unlocking, small things that are starting to move around, breathe in, breathe out. Reach your right heel high, let's add a little bit. Exhale, low lunge. Bottom knee drops, inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose, pause here. Hands come to heart, exhale, prayer twist to the right, hold. So hands come to your heart and then start to twist open to the right side of your mat. See if you can bump your hips a little bit further back. You can also always float your arms open here if hands at heart doesn't work well. Get a little bit lower into your seat. And find a little bit more depth with your breath. Yeah, you guys look really great. Nice. Shift weight into your right foot. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose. Reach your right, sorry, left heel um, up so that your left knee is stacked over your left ankle. Breathe in. And then exhale, step it back, low lunge. So hands go all the way down to your mat, low lunge. Plant your left palm, inhale, low lunge, twist. Reach your right fingertips up to the sky. Yeah. You can stay here for a few more rounds of breath if this feels good. Or you can bring both of your palms to the middle of your foot and move into an active runner's lunge. So you're either in that twist or you're in an active runner's lunge. Active runner's lunge looks like your knee off the mat, hands pressed down. So you're thinking about the different parts of your body that are connected to the earth, how you're activating those. And then the places that are floating. Nice. If you're in that twist or an active runner's lunge, start to work into a decompressive runner's lunge. So tap your back knee down. If you have the space, you can come onto your forearms. You can drop your head down. Maybe even walk your right foot out a little bit wider. That might feel nice. 
Hang out here for about three more rounds of breath. Intensifying the space that breath can visit your body, right? Adding more opportunity to discover through physical movement, to find those unlocks, those awakenings, just breathe in. Get a little bit deeper as you breathe out. Awesome, slowly press up to your palms if you're not already there. Curl your back left toes under, and then step back, high plank. Nice. Press down through your left palm. I promise this is the last place we're going in this series for side plank. Left palm is your base, right fingers float high. Hold four, three, two. Chaturanga Dandasana, rinse it out, or just float back down dog. Nice, downward facing dog is where we need. Breathe in, huge breath out. One more, just like that, big inhale, big exhale, let it go. Awesome, reach your left heel high. Exhale, low lunge, top of your mat, drop your bottom knee, inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms, left toes rise. Nice, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, prayer twist to the left this time. So same thing, hands can come right to heart center or they can float open. The goal here is to get your hips back really far and to keep squeezing through your legs, grounding down, but then twisting deeper. Use your breath to get more into the movement. Nice. Last four. Last three. We're going into one legged mountain. In two. And one. Press down through your left foot this time. Inhale, one legged mountain pose. Right knee stops over your right ankle. Feel that slight engagement of your inner thighs and then bounce out through your hips, right? A lot of times, maybe your right hip rises. See if you can balance them out to the same plank. Breathe all the way in. And then exhale, step back, low lunge. Inhale, low lunge twist. This time, left fingers go high. Right palm is your base. Make sure that your right heel is stacked over your right toes. And keep pressing down through your left foot. Breathe in. And then stay as you breathe out. See if you can ring out a little bit more. You can stay in this twist or you can come up to that active runner's lunge. So foot still pinky toes out and then your back knee stays lifted. Some call this lizard pose, runner's lunge. Everything in yoga you'll find has different names, especially in English, right? Because yoga poses, we first created them in Sanskrit and then kind of translated them to English to different words that matched up to the best of our abilities. So sometimes they're not all called the same thing, but generally you're going to find yourself in really similar shapes. If you want to stand this active runner's lunge or lizard, you can. You can also drop down to your back knee to find a little bit more of a decompressive shape. If you have the space in your upper body to drop down to your forearms, go right ahead. And then notice where your breath wants to go. Notice what feels tight. Notice what feels like maybe it wants a little bit more love. Know that you have the tools to facilitate that. Big breath in, huge breath out. As you feel ready, slowly come back up to your palm. Uncurl your back toes, step your left foot back to meet your right, and then pivot on to the right knife edge for side plank. Lift your left fingertips high, press down through your right palm. Woo. Let it shake just a little bit. Allow your body to feel something here for four, three, Chaturanga Dandasana in two, and one. Bring both hands back down to your mat. Flow through a Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. 
Big breath out, let it go. Nice, one more just like that. Full inhale, full exhale. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank. Use that articulation of your spine and then ripple all the way back. Allowing yourselves to find some more releases here. You're gonna do this about five times, just as long as it feels good. Inhale, ripple. Exhale, take it back. And then keep going at your own pace. Feeling like you're really moving through water, like you're finding some kind of liquidity here. Like it's intuitive in your body, warming up your shoulders, breaking up through your spine. Last four, three, two, and one. Inhale for high plank. Exhale all the way down to your belly. Uncurl your toes, three rolling cobras. Start with a big exhale at the bottom. Inhale, rise. Exhale, top it down. Two more, just like that. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, inhale. Big exhale. Tap your forehead down. And then bring your palms in front of you into a number 11 shape for space pose. This is gonna stretch out your chest a little bit more. It's gonna allow more strengthening in your lower back. So press down through your pelvis, through the soft tops of your feet and your shins, and then actively through your palms to lift your chest and heart. Feel like just as much as you're lifting up, you're also pulling forward. Nice. Maybe your eyes close. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more, just like that. See if you can rise a little bit taller in your sphinx. Inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly come back down to your mat. Nice, press back, child pose. Get really long through your arms. Close to your mat. Grounded through energy and strength. Through purpose and meaning, breathe in. Empty, empty, exhale. One more, just like that, right here, inhale. Huge exhale. Inhale, shift forward, tabletop, float it back, down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Alrighty, look forward, top of your mat, breathe in. Exhale, step, float, hop, forward, fold. Halfway lift is your inhale. And then forward fold is your exhale. Nice, shift your weight back, inhale, chair pose. Arms high, glutes low, shoulders soften, jaw finds a little bit of ease, breathe in. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Ground down through your right foot. Inhale, one-legged mountain, left heel rises. Pause, breathe. You've been here before but how can you find a little bit more stillness here? Focusing on your right foot as a pillar, as something really strong holding you, breathe all the way in. Then on your exhale, find airplane. Send your left leg straight behind you. Arms can go behind you or in front of you. They can also come to heart center. Behind you is typically thought of as warrior three, but your legs generally are in the same T position. Again, thinking about the stillness that's in your external body, but all of the activity that's happening internally to keep you solid and strong. Bring your hands to heart center if they're not already. Nice, and then slowly tap your left toes back for revolved crescent lunge. So left elbow hooks to the outside of your right knee. Same thing, hands can stay at prayer or they can float open. Take a big breath in. 
and then bring both of your feet together. Exhale, forward fold. Shake out your legs. Roll your wrists. And then maybe bring your feet just about hips width for a gorilla pose. So palms go right underneath your feet. Toes are gonna massage your wrist creases. You can bend into your knees a lot if you want. You can also bend your elbows and almost feel like you're pulling your chest closer to your thighs. There's also a big tendency for your head to rise here, but just let it fall. Let gravity do some work on it. Let this be simple. And slowly release your grip. Bring your toes to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for chair pose. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Pause. Get a little bit deeper into your chair. Yeah, and then shift weight into your left foot. Inhale, one leg in mountain. Right heel is what lifts this time. Gaze is solid right in front of you. Hips are balanced and even. Body is strong. Notice where your breath is going, the journey that it's taking. Whether you realize it or you don't, it's creating this life force for you. It's allowing your body to stay and grow to be this foundational base. Breathe in. And exhale, move into airplane, warrior three, whatever shape you want to call it. Hands can always go in front. They can go behind. Or they can come to heart. Feel the little shakes and wobbles through your left foot, but that's your base. One of my favorite Rumi quotes says, you are the world in ecstatic motion. So even as maybe your external body is still, the world is still moving within you. It's always moving around you. It's always in you, breathe in. Stay as you breathe out, hands stay at heart, and then tap your right toes back for a bulge crescent lunge. Your chest is gonna go a little bit higher to the right side, or rather to the left side, sorry. See if you can stack your right heel on top of your right toes. If there's a big bend in your knees, be straighten out that back right leg. See if that starts to activate your hamstrings. Arms can always float open here. Big breath in, and then make your way into a forward fold, top of your mat. This time, feet a little bit wider than your mat. Maybe they even go off the edges. Just kind of shake everything out. Should feel like a really nice, sweet release. Shake your head out, yes, yeah. shake your head out, no. Bend into one knee and then the neck. Inhale, half lift, just find a flat back. And exhale, option to flow through your last chaturanga today. Right where you're at, maybe it's up dog. Float back, down dog. Breathe in. Empty, empty, exhale out. Reach your right heel high. Exhale, half a pigeon. Bring your right shin parallel to the top of your mat. Uncurl your back left toes. Hands come back by your hips to start. Breathe in, puff up your heart space. Inhale. And then exhale, melt everything forward. Take your body in half. Allow it to soften. Soften through your facial muscles. Ease your breath into your hips and your shoulders. Yeah. 
Take about four more full, really complete rounds of breath here. Seeing if with every inhale, you can get a little bit deeper, a little bit fuller, and allowing every exhale to empty you out. Awesome, when you feel ready, slowly bring yourself up to your palms, uncurl your left toes, and then send your right heel behind you. Give it a few circles, a few shakes to reoxygenate it, to bring all of that fresh fluid back alive. And then tap into downward facing dog. Let your left heel rise all the way up this time, inhale. Exhale, half pigeon. Top of your mat space. Shin stays parallel. Arms come to your hips. Puff up your heart. Breathe in. Exhale, melt everything forward. Down on your mat. Same thing. Noticing how full you can let your inhales go in your body. And how empty you can get the releases on your exhales. We hold on in our bodies. We hold tight without even recognizing. We hold subconsciously in our joints, in our muscles, in our ligaments, in our connective tissue. So when we allow movement to be a regular part of our everyday lives, we allow ourselves to not only physically find releases, but also emotionally. They're so interconnected. So when you find one, you ultimately need the other to couple it to get really empty. To soften the grip on what you hold on to. To allow space for what's to come. On your next inhale, slowly press up to your palms. Uncurl your toes. Left leg takes it all the way up to the sky. A few big movements. Maybe some shakes. Maybe some stretches. And then land softly in down dog. One big breath in. One big breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, drop down to your knees. Towel off, grab some water or wine, and then roll all the way onto your back. Let your body get heavy. Let it feel supported by the space beneath you. Hug your knees into chest. And just take a few circles clockwise and then counterclockwise. Allowing your eyes to be closed, your eyelids to cover them gently and safely and softly. Hug your knees into chest, take a big breath in. Exhale, easy supine twist to the right. Knees fall to the right, gaze to the left. Soft in your back, gentle on your body. Detoxifying through your spine, really bringing it out. Hug your knees back to chest center. Big breath in. And then exhale, they both go over to the left. Shoulders are your anchor, knees to the left. Gaze can float over to the right. Maybe you practice your arms again to get a little bit deeper into your twist. Working to get your shoulders connected to the mat, but knowing it's okay if they don't touch. Softening through your face, through your mind. And bring everything back to the center of your mat. Take a really big breath in, scrunch your face towards your knees, big inhale. And then exhale, welcome to your Shavasana. 
Just land long on your mat. Fingers and palms face upward. Even shrug your shoulder blades underneath a little bit more to create a shelf-like sensation for your heart. Take a slight tuck of your chin into your neck. See if you can really release through your belly, hips, and thighs. Allow yourself to just be on your mat for a few moments. and trust that I'll guide you out in just a little bit. If you want to hang out here a little bit longer, it's all yours. Feel ready to move on with the rest of your evening. Start to bring some awareness back to your breath. Maybe taking a soft breath in through your nose and a soft breath out. Noticing if there's more room in your body for your breath to move. Twinkle out your fingertips and your toes. You can roll into your wrists and your ankles. And as you feel ready, a nice, easy, easy, easy good morning stretch. Extend your body to all four corners and beyond on your mat. And then slowly when it works for you, roll over to your favorite side for supported fetal, getting really small really connected back to yourself. When you feel ready, up to a comfortable seat you go. Hands can come to your heart center. You can take a soft gaze or close your eyes. And then start with an exhale. Release, release, release. We'll round out class tonight with three rounds of breath. Big inhale through your nose. Big exhale through your mouth. Try one more just like that, a little bit fuller as you breathe in. Pause at the top, see if you can sip in a little bit more air, inhale. Empty, empty out, exhale. Thumbs can float up to your third eye center if that feels natural and authentic in your body. One last inhale to rise a little bit taller, to ground down a little bit stronger, breathe in. Exhale to let it go, bow it forward to seal it in. 
that's class. I hope you guys feel a little bit more limber, a little bit more stretched out and just have more space in your body to kind of digest either things that you're holding on to physically or things that you don't know that you're holding on to emotionally, right? They, we, we're not disconnected humans. We're not disconnected from each other. We crave human connection and we're not disconnected from our own emotions and our own existences. So when you bring the two together and when you add the different layers of whether it be spiritualness, mindfulness, whatever it may be, you're constantly cultivating this part of you that is able to open up and release and let go of whatever is not working for you anymore to let something new in that maybe will help you grow and develop in ways you didn't totally recognize. That's class tonight. Um, as always, it's donation-based via Venmo. I don't have anything else to tell you. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your evening. And thanks for joining. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.